Hi, my name is Ilma, and today I'd like to share my psalm vlog on Psalm 90, verses 10 to 17. Teach us to number our days. The years of our life are 70, or even by reason of strength, 80. Yet their span is but toil and trouble. They are soon gone, and we fly away. Who considers the power of your anger? and your wrath according to the fear of you. So teach us to number our days that we may get a heart of wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. Satisf satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad for as many days as you have afflicted us and for as many years as we have seen evil. Let your work be shown to your servants and your glorious power to your children. Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us and establish the work of our hands upon us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Psalm 90, verses 10 to 17. In this psalm, Moses pleads the Lord to have pity on his servants. In verse 15, he asks the Lord to show them mercy and replace all their afflictions with gladness. Before Moses' time, people lived longer lives from probably 300 to 600 years. But because of people's wickedness, God shortened the lifespan of humans, which Moses refers to in verse 10. He longs for God to give his people wisdom how to live their short lives compared to their ancestors so that they can have a heart of wisdom. He desperately pleads God to have pity on his servants and bring back favor on them. Shouldn't we all pray this psalm for all of mankind these days as we suffer God's wrath for all of our sins of disobedience? rebellion, idolatry, and unfaithfulness? Do you think this global pandemic is a call to remembrance of all God's miracles in the past and how we need to bring our hearts to God in the short life we have? Adoration. Praise the Lord who have created us and who is steadfast in his love. Confession. Forgive the whole of humankind for all of our sins. Free us from your wrath. Thanksgiving. Thank you for calling our attention to repent and return to you. Supplication. May all people confess that God is in control of all things. Reflection. Why is Moses pleading God to teach them to number their days? Well, from how Moses led the people of God, the Israelites, out of Egypt to the Promised Land. Um, before that, the Lord had, the, the human beings had longer lives. And for him, um, the, the shorter the number of days that people spend, um, the, the, he says in, in uh, verse 10 that this lifespan, our lifespan, is mostly lived in toil and trouble. So in other words, he's asking the Lord to um, tell us to remember how our lives are very short. That we just, uh, in Ecclesiastes it says like we are just like a mist that one day we're here and the next day we're not so we don't know how long we live our lives only God knows so when we know that we are going to live in a certain number of days then we will probably be uh, living our life for that day when we are going to go because then we know that we are not we're not everlasting like God we will die but uh, for those who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, they are given a promise of eternity. That they will, even when they die, they will still have eternal life. 
So I encourage you to to reflect on how how short our life is because we don't have all the time in the world. We cannot delay all the things that God wants for us to do. We cannot say no to what God wants us to do because He created us for Him. He didn't create us for us to stay in this world. He created us so that we will give Him glory, that we will bring people to know Him, that we will shine our light for Him so that He can be glorified. So thanks for watching and I hope you check my website at ilmaars.com for artworks and photographs. And I hope you check this vlog uh, also. It has copy on the, my website. And uh, I'd like you to subscribe to my YouTube channel here so that I will be able to make more videos to glorify the Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks for watching. God loves you so much. Stay safe. And remember to number your days because you don't know when you're going to go. And you want to be ready when you're going. Thanks for watching.